Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Let's continue through the Watchtower at Warrior's Hill. And we gotta get back up to the top where we were before getting the, I think it was the Dragon Mail we got there. And, well, you notice in the upper right part, those gears or that part of the clock tower isn't working. Well, you could have gone over on the left side to see what the problem was. Basically, we got... I'm just going to call that a gear. I don't know what it would really be called. But, uh, yeah, we got, well, some spare parts lying around. And we need to go over there to drop down that one gear so that way we can get this part working. Let's see. Yeah, you see in the middle there, part is missing there. That's what we need that other part there for. Unfortunately, the ladder is out, so you couldn't just, like, climb up or down. No, you have to take the long way around to get this to drop down and then push this one into place. And, well, then we'll see what this does. I mean, I know, like, this place isn't literally a clock tower, but it just kind of looks like it. Though, I'm not really sure what all these machines are doing exactly. I mean, okay, it gets the all blacked out of the way, but for what purpose? What's going on? Whoa! See, that's what I thought what Ikan was talking about there, about a sunken tower, but when I was commenting on that before, but I didn't want to spoil what was going on here, so I didn't say anything about that, but uh, looking back on it, I think I was he was referring to Luna Tower, which was sunk in, into the ground in Belinsk there, in the ruins. Okay, so you get out of there, climb all the way up here, and we got another genie. But this one is not going to be so friendly. So let's get Brand up and running, ready to go, and take him on. Fortunately, this guy does not run away, so we can feel free to use Brand there. And see how it goes. Awesome. No crits. I think I can get in two more attacks between Matthew and Eolio if only one of them crits without killing the guy. He's got 732 HP. So let's heal up and use Doldrum to prevent him from doing anything. Okay, okay, we're good. Yeah, I didn't even uh, get cursed during combat there where you you might randomly lose your turn when you're cursed there but now since the venus genie yeah let's just use a whole bunch of our jupiter gen to finish the guy off and then we should be good hooray no level ups huh i would have thought that would have been more than enough experience for someone but uh no evidently not but for capturing it, we get one of the most powerful, or the most powerful, genie in the entire series. The Chain Genie. The way it works is... You... Well, like most Jin, when you attack with them, they usually have some amount of added damage to your attack value, or they do a multiplier on that, that usually goes up to about two or so between one and two for the multipliers but with the chain genie what it does is it causes all of your party members to attack a single enemy in sequence so like you'll attack first then someone else will attack and someone else and someone else so it's almost like quadruple damage of what you would normally be able to do even and it deals immense damage even against enemies that are strong against Venus. It's obscenely good. So yeah, we definitely want to get that one to use. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we gotta get around here. You might have seen when I was rearranging my gin, I upgraded Reef's job class to the, uh, what is it? The Bard job class from Ranger there. Okay, so before going to the other side there, I want to drop down here. And for doing so, we get the Aegis Shield. And this one is a really good shield in the game. It does not protect you against Petrify, but it does increase your crit rate. So that's pretty nice. 
And let's see, let's hand down the war gloves to Yolio. The van braces time is through, I think. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, what would happen if you didn't jump off, like, let's say, the left side there, where you were coming down that little elevator there? What would happen? And the answer is that you would automatically jump off. Even if you were facing in the opposite direction, as far away from the ledge as possible, you would still just automatically jump off. So, yeah, no funny animation or anything like that. Although I do like the animation they do when you're crossing over, when you're going up and then over to the other side that goes down there. That's a nice little touch. Okay, so here, yeah, we got another one of those missing gears, or maybe one of them cracked when we lifted up this place or something. I don't know. And fell off, but, well, at least they left plenty of spare parts for us to use. And, yeah, with all these Zolblacks here, we can't do anything with them without activating the fan. It's not like you could push them around or anything like that. No, no, it wouldn't do anything. Looks like we just lifted an entire room more than usual there, besides a staircase or whatever. Wow, you got lots of watchtowers here, huh? Okay, so let's get back up top there and collect our prize. And I think you could go to the right if you wanted to. Yeah, back to the first tower there, but we're done here. So, let's see, this room, yeah, well, it's locked, this is where you need the key, but fortunately, there's a little exit down below, so if you didn't miss, or if you did, <laughs> I like how the door floats off, but yeah, if you missed the key, you would be able to leave, quickly come back with it, and you don't have to go through the whole dungeon again. <laughs> is that a reference to the first game there, Eolio? Maybe the designers were kind of poking fun at, or the developers were making fun of that, because, yeah, we pretty much got our quest from a rock that was talking to us. So, so, what is it? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, I think someone was saying about, talking about that. Yeah, it doesn't exactly seem very worthwhile. So, you want to just take it with us? I mean, it's probably not a hand grenade. A holy hand grenade? Well, that worked for us in the first game, Eolio. So, why not? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, she's got the green hair. Can't argue with her. Well, yeah, you're old enough, Graydon. What, you're not going to make fun of his age again there, Tyrell? You're maturing into a nice young man. I'm disappointed. But yeah, for getting all the way here, we get the third eye for something. I mean, what, two eyes aren't good enough? But all right, we're done with our business here. Also, once you get the third eye there, yeah, the Watchtower encyclopedia entry gets updated there. So, all right, a little more information. Now, if you recall, last time when we got to the bottom of the Watchtower, we went all the way through the, the channel from the other side to fill it up with water and move stuff around and all that. So, now that we're done with the watchtower, we gotta go all the way around, so that way we can, well, collect another prize that they got over there. By the way, any djinn or, what is it, or summons or anything like that, nothing is permanently missable for the remainder of the game, at least to my knowledge. But at least we got... Another really powerful genie. Wow, that one is, uh... It's pretty insane if you just want to kill stuff and you don't care about elemental weakness. 
like some of those shadow enemies or whatever. And someone was asking me, Inchi Bailey, do all the shadow enemies or most of the shadow enemies not have an, a specific elemental weakness? And the answer is no. Most of them do. And for getting all the way through here, we get the Coat Lick Summon. I don't know how to pronounce that. Whatever. I'm never going to use it. I'm never going to need to pronounce it again. So we're done. Let's get out of here. But yeah, with, uh, yeah, with the Shadow Enemies, most of them have an elemental weakness. It's just that early on, most of them don't. They, they're equally resistant or weak to all elements. You can use whatever you want. In which case, you might as well use the Chain Genie. It is just so obscenely powerful compared to, well, all the other gen in the game. Okay, let's see. Got all our gen set? I don't think anyone around you says anything new or nothing of consequence or anything. So, let's get out of here and, well, I guess we just go exploring now. Whoa! Watch out for, uh... Yeah, the edge there. You can't fall off. Don't worry about it. Let's see. All right. Lizard Brood. Oh, yeah. We got new battle music for on the ship. So, yeah. Just a slight variation on the normal battle theme, but I like it. Let's see. Lizard Broods are weak to Mars. Hmm, I'm almost surprised it didn't kill the guy. It only has, like, 470 HP, but... Okay, so, yeah, we to Mars. Let's finish the guy off now. If I killed the guy with Matthew there, like I thought I would, then, I mean, I'm not extraordinarily concerned about getting kills on normal enemies in the ocean because they don't give a whole lot of experience. Although this guy gives the most of non... Uh, what is it? Non-eclipsed enemies. What's that? Well, I didn't get a good look at this, but I'll just tell you, it's a whirlwind there. And there's an item, com or an island, completely surrounded by shoals or coral reef or whatever that is. But yeah, we can't, well, we could get in there now, but we wouldn't be able to do very much. So remember that spot for later, viewers. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so there, not really worried about missing the gin kill. If I can get it great if not don't worry about it we have a lot of weapon mastery to be working on in the near future heck look, heck right now we have a lot to work on but all right hey all right let's see let's fight some new enemies there let's see the guy in the left there bulky bugmen they have 180 hp they're weak to mars otherwise nothing too special about them. I'll probably just kill it without getting a gin kill, but well, we'll see how hard we hit the guy. Let's see, the other one, what is that one? Let's see, Bile Dirge. Let's see. Wow, oh, that is a surprising amount of HP. Uh, 267, they're weak to Jupiter, but otherwise, nothing extraordinary there. Surprised I didn't even kill the guy, but usually these bat type enemies. Uh, what is it? Yeah, they usually have very little HP, but uh, okay, let's see if I can get another one in there. There you go. Yeah, they don't get very much experience. I would not bother with gin kills on them. Man, that whirlwind really, uh, Makes a lot of noise from quite a distance, huh? Hey, how's it going? Hmm, this city reminds me of, uh, town in the second game. Well, let's take a look around. Oh, yeah, that was it. Whoa. That's... Yeah, sorry about destroying your whole village, but... If it makes you feel better, our village was nuked. So, yeah, everyone got screwed a little bit there, huh? Whoa, holy cow! Lots of uh, names here, but uh, yeah, you might remember the first two. I think they were both in the Lost Age there. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh. What happened to her? Well, I mean, I know she got a fever or whatever, but, uh... Huh. Well, that's weird. I didn't give her any cursed equipment. Th that's Matthew's job. I really want to finish that weapon for Matthew when I'm, like, near a town, so that way I can have the Sanctum remove the curse there. Oh, okay. Hmm, I wonder. That was where that little island was there. So, remember that for later, viewers. But, uh, not right now. Okay, there's nothing else in here. I'm not worried about that. There is a lot of treasure to find around here, though. And stuff to buy. Oh, yeah, if you tried going to Port Rago, it's completely surrounded by glaciers, and you can't get between them. So, yeah, that's why you can't get back to uh, Morgal in that area. So, yeah, it's permanently gone as far as... What was it? As far as, like, the main storyline and all goes. But, yeah, Sana, that was the Empire... With, uh, that was behind Kaocho, at least back in the day it was. And you might recall, we've had a package that someone wanted us to deliver there way towards the beginning of the game. So hopefully you've still got it, because the reward you get out of it is totally worth it. Not like uh, we could lose it anyway, but... Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so, let's see, what was that equipment I wanted to get? I know there's something new around here somewhere. Wait, was that? No, we already had that one. Let's see, uh, oh, there it is, yeah, the spirit armlet there. I don't really care for its use there, but, for, to cure status ailments, but it is more powerful, so we'll give that to Reef. And, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the Virtuous Armlet anymore, so just get rid of that. And, yeah, you saw I stocked up on a whole bunch of, uh, like, mist potions and all sorts of healing items there. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay. Well, what do you mean? Hmm. Well, remember that guy for later years. Like, way later in the game. Hmm, I don't believe you. That couldn't possibly be true. But, uh, we can't do anything with that for now. Well, what do you need warriors for? I mean, it's not like you got any neighbors or anything. Yeah, I would think it would be uh, pretty warm around here. You're not affected by the eclipse or anything. Well, what's that about? How does she even know him? Huh. Well, I don't really know what that was about. It's not like we can go back and warn him or something. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was. But all right, let's just... Ooh, hey, there's a genie on the ledge over there. Oh, well, that wouldn't be the first child of the gods that we've seen in this series. Whoa! Holy cow! Well, they did! Well, you're on an island. You can't just sit around and do nothing. Ha ha. Maybe underwater basket weaving. That would be an interesting career. But alright, let's uh, move the pillar out of the way. Oh, I was going to say to reveal a secret passage, but uh, now we need to do a little more work for this one. Let's try that again. Use the synergy to reveal a secret passage. There we go. Is there any treasure chests around here? Or mimics? Or... Anything remotely useful? Well, no, but there is the genie here. Hooray!
Hooray! I'll be rearranging my setup quite heavily in the near future, but not right now. So let's see. The Kite Genie lets you... It's kind of like the Quick Spell in the Final Fantasy games. It lets you take two actions in a round instead of one. But since you have to use a turn to get that going, it's not really that beneficial there. Oh, Izumi. Yeah, I think I remember... Remember them from the second game? I forget. Oh. Okay. But yeah, the Kite Genie could have been useful more earlier in the game when we didn't have those combination job classes, but since we do now, there's yeah not really a whole lot we can do with it. Oh, and by the way, something I forgot about. There's another genie on the island to the east. You can meet up with it in a random encounter. I will be eventually going over there to pick it up. But what's going on with Princess Himi at Yamata City? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!